what you are talking about. We are about. talking about Surah 5, 32 to 38. Okay. He yeah. says that 32 is complementary to 38. No, I didn't say that. Right? I said 33 is complementary to 32. 32 is complementary, complementary 32. 32. But I'm going to show him that the whole context 32 to 38 is not complementary. But we're going to continue anyway. Go on. Okay. So I was saying, our law, since we benefit of the people who are watching, Daniel and people always misunderstood verse 32 when they say, when Muslims claim that if you take a life, like you kill the whole mankind, and Daniel is making a claim that was for children of Israel. I say, yes, it was for children of Israel. Allah says for the children of Israel, only two kinds of people can be killed, and can be justified their, their killing. One, those who commit murder, and second, those who spread mischief in the land. And the verse 33 I was reading is actually complementing exactly that. And verse 33 is the order for the Muslims. And what kind of, how many kind of people Muslims can allow to kill? Only two. Those who wage war against Allah and Messenger. When you come and wage war, you are coming to killing people. So that is, you, kill, you can kill people who come to kill you. Same as children of Israel for the murder. Second one, who's spreading mischief in the land. Sorry, but when you wage war against Allah, are you going to and kill Allah? And Allah is in the messenger. No, yeah, no. I know, Allah and his messenger, You're going to come Allah first, do you go to kill Allah? When you wage war against Allah, you come to kill followers of Allah. Of course you can't kill Allah. Those who believe in those, 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 anyway, those who believe in Allah, waging war against Allah, meaning those who are following Allah, you killing them. That's waging war against Allah. Okay, but that's you, not of what course, the scripture says. That's exactly what the scripture says. No, it says those who wage against Allah and His messenger. So, so how, when you wage against Allah, yeah. So you how can't go and kill Allah? Himself. How how you wage war against Allah? <laughs> unless, unless no, hang on, hang on. How you? Come to kill or destroy Allah. Yeah, that's how? the that's how? confusion. How? Of, that's the confusion of no, the no, no, Quran. It's not a I don't know how. It's not a confusion. That's a confusion. No, this this is this is an insincere okay, argument. Okay, insincere. Okay. When 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 you come to destroy a particular God, you destroy his people. So nobody will be there to remember him. So his name will not exist when you come his followers. You come to kill his people. So his name will not exist. In that sense, you are destroying. God, because his name doesn't exist. You, of course, you physically can't kill. This is what the understanding is. I think it's very clear. Okay, so he said, continue so with this point. Those who wage war against Allah and His Messenger yeah. and go about earth spreading mischief. Yeah. So the, there are only two kinds of people in Islam you are allowed to kill, as I said. But I was making a claim. The verse 32, which was order for children of Israel, they were allowed to kill them, not to allow to let them go. Yeah. They should be killed, murder for murder and spreading mischief is also you kill them. But in Islam, it's more, more lenient and more merciful if you see the punishment for these kind of a people. He said there are four kind of a punishment mentioned in verse 33. Indeed, their recompense is that they either be done to death or be crucified, both killing, or have their hands and feet cut off. So this time it's not killing, cut off their hands and feet. And, and the fourth one is banish, banish them, them from the land. Let them go. I don't see that No, the land. What? It's not killing you. In children of Israel, no, it's com comparing the two. In children of Israel, they're allowed to kill them. But in Islam, you are allowed to let them go. No, no, You're banished from them. It says, it says uh, you shall slay them. That's I agree with that. Slay is what? They're four. Kill them. Kill, kill them. <laughs> okay, there's, no, no. there's killing them. I say, I there say, is killing. I say four options. But it's merciful, apparently. No, no, yeah. you're, not, you're not understanding me. In Islam, there are options. And the, one of them is and killing. The, and the, no, no, the fourth one is let, let, them, let them go. What, what options children of Israel had? Manslaughter or corruption? No. Maroon. Children of Israel have no option. Except they, 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 yeah, yeah. Meaning for them, they, they kill them. Okay. Children of Israel, for order for children of Israel, not that to banish them from no the land. Problem. No problem. That's in the Talmud. And look, I don't look, defend the look, Talmud. Look, what I was comparing I don't defend the Surah 532. That's in the Talmud. Yeah. I defend the, the Bible, which does not command me to kill, but that's fine. Continue. I was comparing the two, brother. Yeah, I know the I two. I was comparing the two. Yeah, I was yeah, saying, of course, of course, in yeah. one order is, you can kill these two kind of people. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, not that you have to let them go, yeah. but in Islam, you can kill them. And you can even, Crucify even, them? even you can banish them. Banish meaning, them? meaning they live. Hands off. Meaning they live. Crucify. No, mean. So why are you going to the worst one and not the the, the lenient I'm one? I'm giving you four. No, but the fourth and the fourth one is say it loud. Banish them from banish the them. land. Meaning they live. Okay. Not kill. So what they Allah left? We don't banish. So anybody. Allah, so Allah left it for the people to judge. 
meaning all mischief are not the same. Okay, so all does, waging of war is not the same. Okay, Depend how the bad one? their crime is, you judge and even you can let them go. Okay. So, we, so what, what, what I was saying that to, what 34. I was saying that to you, the verse 33 complements verse 32. It does. Now you read, you make your claim verse 34. No, 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 but you, you haven't finished 34. Read it. You read it. I'm listening. Okay. Let's read it verse 34. Let me read it from verse 33 Please. to get the context, yeah? Please. Yeah. Indeed, the recruitment of those who wage war against Allah and his apostle, who is read, and try to cause corruption on the earth, is that they should be slain, crucified, or have their hands and feet cut off from opposite side or banishing them from the land. This is the disgrace for them in this world and in the hereafter. There is a great punishment for them. The next verse complements 33. For me, the next verse complements 33. This Why is what not? it says. Why not? Except those who repent before you capture them and know that Allah is all forgiving and more merciful. So if they don't repent, what do you do? Crucify them, slay them, hands and feet cut off, wow. and banish them from the land. If they don't repent, so it's got, it's got nothing to do with anything else except for repenting and believing in Allah. Explain that again, I didn't really get it. Explain except those who repent before no, you, yeah. capture them and know that there is Allah is all forgiving, all merciful. Mm. So if they don't repent, what happens to them? You slay them, banish them, and kill them. Or hands and feet cut off, or yeah. <laughs> but in, in our circle, I'm not, I'm not even defending Surah 532. In our circle, if people don't believe, what do you do? You pray for them and you try to bring them in, you try to tell them about Jesus, but we don't try and slay them or crucify them or banish them. We don't do that. But the Quran, he says it's merciful. How can it be merciful when it says, you changing your no, argument. you said it's merciful. No, no, you're changing your argument. No, you said it's merciful. I'm you, not changing you, my argument. No, no, you are. You are changing okay, your argument. Tell you, me how why are you bringing Christians, your theology, into it? I'm a Christian. No, no, no. We are talking about this verse about children of Israel. Yeah. You say that order, for killing only two kind of people, okay. apart from that, is unjust. Is only for children of Israel. Yeah, and, and I believe, I, I, I believe no, no, so no, 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 no. Is and, also and, and, and I was saying, and I was saying that, and I was saying that the verse 33 is exactly the same. Is complementing verse 32. Uh, it's and exactly the exactly the same order. And I, I told you. And then verse 34. I'm not disagreeing David, with that. David. Is, is actually or saying that, except for those who repent before you have overpowered them. Know well uh, that Allah is. What what he means? I I explain that to you what he means. Verse 34. He's saying this. JJ. This situation does occur. People wage war against Allah and His Messenger and spread mischief. But before you get to them, they change their mind. Before do with their face. No 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 no. This this not this is not. Say say accept. They repented. <laughs> what does repent? Repent for mean? what? Repentance repent. is about from uh, repenting from your sin and coming to God. That's what show me. Show about. me that what you mean. You got the see there. Okay, read the see. No, I'll read the tafsir. Repent meaning what? So when you say re when when you say repent, what do you understand? Okay, and I'll uh, depend on the context, isn't it? I just, it depends on the context. Okay. The, the context. context okay. No, no, you didn't. You didn't understand the context. <laughs> context is context is this. Uh, context is this. Verse thirty three says, those who wage war against Allah's messenger and spreading mischief, yeah. their punishment is so and so and so. Yes. Except, except what? Except, hang on. Huh. except for those who repent, meaning huh. these are the people who, who wage war against a land messenger and he's desperate mischief in the land. But before you get to them, they repented, meaning they say, okay, we are not going to do that. We are not going to go wage war against a land messenger and we are not going to spread mischief in the land. We are sorry. We are repent repenting. We are not and going then, to do that. And then continue, and says, and know that Allah is all forgiven, all merciful. So the one that's who it. forgives that's and has merciful is Allah. So they're repenting to Allah, not for the people. Oh. He didn't say Allah. Oh. Here, they they're repenting says, to Allah. And know that Allah is all forgiven, all merciful. Why does the verse has Allah in it if it's just about people? Okay. Now, <laughs> they, they, no, come on. So Allah, no, they are repenting to the people uh, of the time. Who they done mischief no, to? No, it doesn't say yes. that. It doesn't they say that. Doesn't, doesn't no, Except say, those who repent say, before you. Say, okay, okay. They will repent there. Okay. This before is, them, is, but not to this, them. This is your understanding. <laughs> does this, does this say that they those who repent to Allah? Does it say that? No, no, does it no, say no, that no. those who repent to Allah? No, sir. Okay. Meaning these are the people who are waging war uh -huh. and they are spreading mischief and they are repenting for what? 
what they are doing, they repent. So before why is the, Allah in there? Before, because Allah is ordering Muslims, isn't it? No, so why is Allah in there, in the verse? I'm telling you. This is so is it them forgiving or Allah? Have patience. I'm giving you. Now who is the commander-in-chief of Muslims? Where the order comes from? God. So no, God. Allah. Yeah, it's Allah. Okay, yeah, 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 Allah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that again, Allah. Okay, it's nice when you say Allah. Yeah. That's good, yeah. Father, yeah. Son, Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Ya Rabbul Alameen, this is the mercy of Speaker's Corner. So even the Christians are mentioning your name. It's amazing. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay, yeah, yeah. anyway. Trinity. Okay, so the order and the command, the commander in chief for Muslims are our Lord who gave us commandment, which we call Allah. So he is telling them. Except for those who repent before you overpower them. Know well that, know well, know well who? You Muslims who are Quran re revealing to. Know well that Allah is forgiving and all compassion. Meaning Allah is ordering you, if they repent, you can let them go. Because I am the most compassionate and merciful. It's not that because they are repent to me, so I'm forgiving them. Because they are repenting, so I am merciful. and repenting too. By repenting to whoever these people they were. They're not repenting. Whoever to the they people. were whoever they're doing. They're wrong. not repenting to the they people. Were repen don't add to they me. were repenting Who from they repenting their to? doing. Whatever. To who? Whatever whatever they're doing. You cannot repent to nothing. <laughs> if there are no believers, why would they repent to Allah? They were no believers. Exactly, so that's why they no, repent. No, 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 hang on a minute. They are doing mischief in the land. Mischief against who? So if they did mischief, were they believers no, already? Repent is sorry, isn't it? If they are sorry what they're doing. So they, they doesn't have to say, oh sorry Allah, I was doing wrong to these people. Oh sorry Allah, I was doing the uh, uh, highway robbery. So meaning they are sorry what they did. In the heart they know, say, who and they, they and they, to? When they just repent is sorry. They are just sorry what they to did. To who? It doesn't say Allah. You adding that is why Allah is in there. I'm not <laughs> no, adding anything. Allah yeah, yeah. is all forgiving no. or merciful. Okay. But why? Because they repent to no, him. No, 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 no. Okay, I tell you what, you're you we'll going back and forth. Wrap up on what you have to say. And then wrap no, up. we only were 34. We, we, we say you want to read up to 38. Oh, okay. We say order 38. Keep reading. Really, really so next verse. Next verse. All you who are faith. Yeah. Talking to Muslims, yeah? Believers, yeah. Be wary of Allah and seek the means of recourse to him and wage jihad in his way so that you may be fluctuous. Mm -hmm. 36. Indeed, if the faithless possessed all that is on the earth and as much of it besides to redeem themselves with it from the punishment of the day of resurrection, it shall not be accepted from them and there is painful punishment for them. Two more verses. They would long to leave the fire, but they should never leave it, and there is a lasting punishment for them. Mm -hmm. As for the thief, man or woman, cut off their hands mm -hmm. as a recruiter for their for what they've earned, an exemplary punishment from Allah. Yeah. <laughs> I have yeah. to emphasize Allah in there. Yeah? Yeah. And Allah is almighty, it is all wise. Okay. Clear. Clear. Clear what? Clear that is Allah they're repenting to and is Allah involved in the forgiving? Is Allah involved who's merciful or all wise? Is Allah doing it? Yeah. They're yeah. repenting. No, 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 no. You very, I, I read 33 to 38, yeah. so yeah. I don't I, know how it's not. I there. don't know why you read up to 38. Because 30, like, context. Anna, you have context. 38. Too. Like Shabir Ali, okay, Adnan Rashid context. 38. Give you context. Brother, 38 has nothing to do with 32. You know that. 33 to 38. No, no, no. What, what, I know 32. No, my, my original claim was yeah. 33 is complementing 32. No, it's so, not. Th yes, it is. 33 to 38 complement each other. No, 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 no. 33 oh. is complementing 32. Let the viewers. And if you, if yeah, let the uh, review, let the viewers judge. review that. <laughs> yeah. And viewers judge. Be judge just it. as well. Yeah. And I, I, the example as I gave it to you and it was off the camera yeah. uh, to make it easy for you yeah. that Allah is like the example of the father. The, the father is giving the second son, his elder brother, he took his elder brother's room and the, the, the father telling the young son, I told your brother to tidy up your room, to do your chores, to sleep on time and don't make noise in this room. So I'm just telling you to do the right thing and obey your father. So that son understand exactly, he doesn't have to repeat the same thing what he, he said, I told your brother. He got it that my father expects the same thing from me as well. The same way Allah is Allah saying, we, or, we, we, we ordained, we ordained for children of Israel, the, the murder only for two people, uh, 
just just, just killing only for two people. The same thing, verse 33 is telling the Muslims, those who wage war against Allah and the Messenger and spread mischief. So as I say, verse 33 complements. And the rest, what you read it, so has nothing Israel to do with it. Is the brother of Arabs. Huh? Israel is the brother of Arabs. I, did I, am, am I saying that? That's the example you no, gave. No, 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 no. This is the example. Example doesn't have to be identical, isn't it? Yeah, but you need example to give is for an you know. example that is relevant uh, example, to the topic. Yeah. Israel is the nation of God. They were a people of God, yeah. Israel. But so does Israel. so does Arab are also one nation. But they're no brothers. One nation. They're no brothers. No. That's another argument. I'm, but don't I, give I an know, example. I know you. I, I know you want to uh, uh, change the argument into no, brother. Uh, what they brother? I'm not. I'm not making the argument. I'm saying Israel. They were also the people of God, children of God. In some sense, he's our creator. So the Arabs are also children of God and creator, uh, one creator. So that was the example. Allah is saying, I told them that, and I'm telling you that as well. So yo, whenever you use this over 32 has nothing to do with 33. This is no order for Muslim. That is exactly order for Muslims as well, because the next verse complements verse 32. So you you forget 34 to 38. But 38 has nothing to do with it. 38 is telling about the thief. The thief, you cut the hands, even the male or female. What does it and have to say? And what is it? Doesn't what, talk no. about cutting hands. Brother, 30, what 38 has to do anything with the with the with 33? Because what? you Muslims. Like, that is talking about the, the killing. That is jihad. No. Verse 33 is talking about the waging war against Allah and His Messenger and spreading mischief in the land. Yeah. Verse 38 is the punishment for the people who steal things. Yeah. So verse. That, that's not complimentary. Then. How? How is complimentary? Because they are the one doing the uh, stealing, those who don't believe in Allah. They're, it's like causing mischief in the land. Thank you very much. You Thank go. you. Thank you. you. Thank so, you. how is 32 complimenting 33? Can, can, can I say that? You said very rightly, and I'm that you, right. you say okay, no, no, verse 38 right. and cutting the hand of the thief is <coughs> same as verse 33 spreading mischief. So, why are you not bringing 32 into as well? Because verse 32 also says spreading mischief. Yes, verse 32 also says spreading mischief in the land. Yes, so why when you use the word mischief, verse 32 also use the word mischief. Yes, so this is a bit of double standard, isn't it? Double standard. We are a seeker of truth, follower of truth. Are, okay, verse 32, here we are. Therefore we ordain for the children of Israel that he who slays a soul, unless it be for murder or for spreading corruption. <laughs> For my Quran's mischief. Mischief. How many Qurans do we have? How many Qurans? <laughs> you see, this one you do. You, you, you the Which argument. one should we believe? <laughs> corruption <laughs> or mischief? I can. I, you want to argue about that as well after this? We call it about corruption. You want to argue about that? So, so the Quran is corrupted. No, no. You <laughs> want to argue about about that as well? This is what this, your tricks are. No, you, you, you catch one word and you, look. I say mischief. One word. I, that's very, very you, you catch you catch one word and may build an argument yeah, on that. Man, man. I just show you. I, I I say look look. Okay, go. Listen, when, we give it to you. When I say no, no, by no, grace, no, no. when it I does say mischief. When I say the Quran, when uh, we give it to the different Quran. When I say it's a translation, of course. Translation. Right. Because we know same. You pick the your Quran. Corruption. Whatever the word corruption. Arabic uses, Arabic word uses is the same. Yeah. So corruption can be mischief. They are synonymous, synonymous words, isn't no it? They are. No so I don't know why you're making a big deal of it. No so, verse 38 says mischief, verse 32 says say mischief. So it's the whole context. It goes from verse 32 to 38 if you want to take up 38. No problem. Which yeah. I wasn't. But children I say, of Israel. I say verse, children I, of Israel. Yes, and, and same thing applies for Muslims, even more compassionate for Muslims. Children of Israel were allowed <laughs> to kill. Love, children of Israel, so children Israel. of Israel were allowed to kill those people. Muslims can let them go as well. So in, in, in Islamic, Come in, in, 20 minutes. in, in Islam, exactly. you can let them go as well. It's even more merciful than verse, verse 32 was for the children. Just get the viewers to judge that. Do your conclusion if you want to. Well, as I say, say, my conclusion was this, that the verse 32, when it was order, Allah say order for children of Israel, then uh, verse 33 for Muslim, if you analyze them, they are so identical. The children of Israel are supposed to kill two kind of people. Murder for murder or spreading mischief in the land. And Muslims were allowed to kill two kind of a people. Those who wage war against you, meaning come to kill you, you can kill them, or spreading mischief in the land. I can't see any difference in the in the both statements. Order is exactly the same. So Muslim uh, Muslim complement verse 32 as Muslim we follow that as well. Okay, yeah, so basically Surah 532 is for the children of Israel, he agrees with that. Surah 533 is for the Muslims, he agrees with that. 
what we disagree with, he said 32 compliments was 33. But I say no, 32. No, I said 33 compliments 32. Okay, 33 compliments 32. Okay, the other way around. But it can't complement uh, a, a, a decree for the Muslims that is a decree for the children of Israel. It can't, con it can't, it can't do that at all. Because 33 is, is, a, is a context that you need to read up to 38 to understand 33. Basically, I am not condoning 32. 32 I don't condone at all, that's from the Talmud. But the argument here is 33 and 32 complimenting or not complimenting I don't I don't condone 32 but the end of the matter is that you're supposed to kill people if they cause corruption and mischief in the land or to the merciful Muslims which I don't think they are merciful in Islam he might be merciful but Islam is not merciful you're supposed to banish them or crucify them or not kill them but us as Christians are supposed to love you, pray for you. Whoever persecutes us, despitefully uses us, we're supposed to. Love Jesus said, "Hate your mother." That's what it is. Jesus said, "Jesus said, hate your father." If you don't love less, Luke fourteen twenty six. If you don't love less, if you don't love less, your mother and your father. That's what the Greek says. And you're not worthy to follow me. Not hate. That's what the English says. We take that, no problem. But the Greek says, love less. Yeah, that's what it is. Jesus loves you. Come to know him. He's the truth, the life. Come out of the darkness. Yes. Amen.